All right, moving on to the developing story back home. Shashi Tharoor, who is undergoing treatment in Kerala, broke his silence on the murder of his wife just a few minutes earlier. Tharoor had promised full cooperation with the probe but did not take any questions from the media. Listen in. When there is a police inquiry going on, it is my duty to not undermine or compromise their inquiry in any way through anything I would say in public. Because public discussion of matters which are meant to be in the police realm is actually an insult to police procedure, which I respect. And so I have been the one who has, despite many, many things that have been very provocative that I wanted to say, I've been very, very silent on this issue, saying let the police do their work. Well, it is a new twist in the Sunanda Pushkar case. Shashi Tharoor's domestic help has revealed three names during police interrogation. According to sources, domestic help Narayan told cops that a man named Sunil Takru had visited Sunanda at the Hotel Leela Palace two days before she was found dead. Narayan informed the police that Sunanda had called up Tharoor on the 16th January, saying he was finished as she had revealed everything to the media. Domestic help also told the police that the couple had a fight in Dubai over a lady named Kitty and that Sunanda used to stay at her friend Sanjay Divan's residence, who later had stopped visiting her house. Narayan disclosed these names in a questioning in November last year as well. Delhi police interrogated him again on Thursday. When the police asked Narayan why he had left the hotel a day before Sunanda's death, he said he had fallen ill and had headed home. I want to cut across to our managing editor, TV Today Network, Rahul Kawal, who's uh, joining me from the newsroom. Rahul, you know, if that public statement, if one just heard it, one couldn't escape the cynicism in Mr. Tharoor's voice. Take the story a little further, Preeti. I had an opportunity a few moments before now to speak to Sunil Trakru. Sunil Trakru is a friend of Sunanda Tharoor's. Uh, he has been called in for questioning by the Delhi police. They've spoken to him at length. He's one of the crucial links. If Even if you read Shiv Narayan's uh, statement, which I have with me over here, he talks of a Sunil Saab. Uh, who came and met uh, Sunanda Tharoor. Uh, so we've had an opportunity to speak to him. He's of course completely distancing himself from the so-called murder of Sunanda Tharoor, saying that he has absolutely no idea. He also insists that there were several other Sunils uh, that Sunanda Tharoor Pushkar knew of and, she said, and he says that it's unfair therefore just to target him. But he's one of the people who will be heard of a lot more right. over the next 48 hours. We've had an opportunity to speak to him and he's confirmed that the Delhi police has indeed called him in for questioning and asked him about how long he knew Sunanda, what his relationship with her was. Apparently, from what Shiv Narayan says in this interrogation, he used to come very often and then because of a rift between Sunanda and Shashi, he wasn't allowed to come uh, into the house for a while and then later towards the end when they started fighting, he started visiting again and again and he was apparently with her when they went to the hotel. You know, Rahul, for what has been a complete one year of abyss, things are moving very, very quickly in this case perplexing and rather odd because this has happened more than 11 and a half odd months ago and for the longest time it seemed as if the case was just being buried very quietly uh, that this would be a suicide case which wouldn't really blow up in this fashion and suddenly the cops seem to have hit fifth, fifth gear which is surprising because it wasn't from in the Arushi case for example there was a huge amount of uh, pressure, a huge amount of action around it right from the first day after 48 hours the case had already gained certain traction of mm -hmm. its own. The Sunanda case hasn't been like that now. That raises questions about whether the Delhi police are acting of their own volition or whether there's been a green f uh, signal that's come right. uh, from say the political authorities because something seems to have changed. Either the cops have got hold of something which they believe will ultimately lead to proving who the murderer is or they believe or they've got a green signal to go ahead and pursue this case right. because something Thing certainly has changed. You know, and this change seems to have been verbalized by none other than Mr. Tharoor because on many occasions uh, he's pretty much, you know, stopped short of calling it a political witch hunt. That's correct because if you read his previous letter, he now says he's written another new letter to the Delhi Police uh, Commissioner but in his previous letter from November, he says that the cops beat up Shiv Narayan, his domestic help and tried to get him to confess that Shashi and Shiv Narayan killed uh, Sunanda. So from that paragraph itself, it's very clear that Shashi Tharoor believes that this is a witch hunt 
by the cops. He's not alleging political interference. Okay. Remember, he hasn't really been at odds with the Modi government. If you see uh, Shashi Tharoor's comments on the Swachh Bharat campaign, he in fact has run into trouble with the Congress party because he seemed in some senses as supporting some of Modi's ideas, not supporting the ideology of Hindutva or the ideology propagated by the BJP, but supporting some of uh, the Prime Minister's recent initiatives. So he hasn't really been at odds with this government. In fact, his party has been unhappy with him. But despite that, over this week, something seems to have changed. Remember, right. Sun, uh, Shiv Narayan, this crucial mm -hmm. domestic help who was with, remember, in this interrogation, he says, uh, Sunanda asked him to go get a white salwar kameez so that uh, she would do a press conference and that's when he'd gone he'd gone from the Leela Hotel to uh, the house on Lodi Estate, Lodi Road uh, to get that dress which is when Sunanda died. So right. she was clearly wanting to do some kind of and she spoke to us remember she called yes. us up and she told us she wanted to do an interview and uh, spill the beans about the IPL that's what she told us. So now these are very serious questions about whether there was a motive for someone to try and take Sunanda down. All right, appreciate you joining us. Managing editor, TV Today Network, Rahul Kamal, getting us details there. Uh, uh, trust uh, headlines today to keep you updated with the very latest facts emerging from this developing story there. And they are a fair bit of those coming in at this juncture.